What's going on guys, COGF here bringing you a commentary on the new Titanfall beta. I just got this code yesterday and I was actually really disappointed when okay, I was trying to get this footage for you guys. Uh, the servers actually went down for a good four to five hours or maybe even more than that, I'm not really sure. But I finally got back on, got this gameplay way late last night, like two or three in the morning. And I just decided to make a commentary over it and post it for you guys. So. As you guys can see, hey, I got the new Longbow place. DMR so Sniper going, rocking some ACOG on it, which is called like AOG, I believe, in this game. It's a little different. Um, I, I actually like the ACOG compared to the reg scope in this game. Like, we it just has Bravo. less sway. And it actually, as you can see when I zoom in here, it actually zooms in quite a lot. Like, I don't know, I just like it. I just Thank like it. And the Sniper, like, it's good, but the thing that I don't like about it really is that it's a two-shot kill. We got Bravo. Like, unless you get, unless of course you get a headshot. I mean, but yeah, most of the time you're gonna Thank get a two-shot kill against pilots, and it's not only. If you guys have seen any Titanfall Bravo. gameplay out there, hey, you'll know already that seconds. there's not just pilots in the game. You have, like, there's all these different kinds of things that you can be. You can be a pilot or a Titan. And then there's also AI, which is, like, you can get AI on your team or the enemy team, hey, you're approaching Bravo. called, I believe, Grunts and Spectres. And Spectres Grunt are just Bravo these, like, little robot things that take two sniper shots to kill. Grunt, and Grunts just take, like, one shot. I believe I take a couple out here in a second. Yeah. Yeah, they're all over there by two sides. Now, the Take Grunts, they're, the Grunts are interesting. Like, they're not... They're not, like, good, but, and they don't really kill you, actually. I don't think I've ever been killed by one yet, we got but what, really what they do is they just help you complete objective. Like, they go to the objective. If you guys notice those grunts that I killed were over there by the C hard point, and they were trying to tap it, I believe. So, they don't really get kills, they just kind of help you try to complete okay, the mission objective, which is kind of cool. I think it adds, like... It adds like more of an environment, you could say, you to the it. game. Like, if it was just player Bravo. versus player, which is called pilots in this hey, game, I don't think it'd be nearly as fun because like you don't you don't really see that many pilots. In this game. Like, you see grunts on, you see like grunts all the time, you see titans all the time, and it's just like you don't without the grunts, you wouldn't see as many people, and it wouldn't be nearly as fun. And just to explain what you're, what you guys are watching a little more, uh, I was playing last night and I decided to try out this game mode called Hardpoint. And what it is is it's pretty much domination from Call of Duty, but they decided to call it Hardpoint. So if you guys have never played that, um, domination in Call of Duty is like where you have three flags and each team has to try to cap them, and as you cap them, you earn points. So, of course, you have to cap more flags to earn more points, and more, in this game, more hard points to earn more points. So, that's what, that's what we do, and I think I end up winning in this game. I didn't really play the objective too much, I kind of stayed on the building and picked off the people who were trying to cap the flag for the other team. Now, of course, being a different game, this, the hard points and you capturing them has to be a little bit different. So what it is, is when you try to cap a hard point, say like the enemy has it, then you have to neutralize Charlie's it first, attack. and then you have to cap okay, it for your own team. So it's like Charlie. twice One as long as it normally takes in Call of Duty. I believe. I haven't really played that much Call of Duty domination. Like but in this, this game, compared to Call of Duty, is actually like, in my opinion, it's a lot better. Like everything just feels I'm more ready. balanced. Like. When you first look at the game, you'd think that the Titans there would just be like dominating everything, but it, it actually isn't. Like the Titans won, they're fairly easy. They're fairly easy to get. Like you can see, I just got one there off of killing like a grunt. It's on the way. And then like when everybody has them, it's a it's like a load of fun just to have a, like an all-out war. But even if you're just a pilot going up against a Titan, it's not that hard. Because you get these anti-Titan weapons, as you can see, it just said, press the uh, left stick to activate my anti-Titan weapon. But 
um, what they do, they're like these special specialized weapons that do like enhanced damage. I use, like see, I just pulled it out here and I'm just firing at it. And as you can see, I just doomed that Titan, which means I pretty much destroyed it and it's gonna self-destruct as soon as that red bar becomes full. There's a kid right there. But yeah, so I believe in this gameplay, I go something like um, 15 and nine, which I'm gonna be honest, is actually pretty insane for, well, it's not insane. It's pretty decent, it's pretty good for a sniper because like, in general, 15 kills is a good game with a red gun, but with a sniper, that's like, it's just so much harder. Like, I don't know, like, cause you can just run around with a red gun on the ground, like you're supposed to in this game, and you just destroy everything. And then, um, when you have a sniper, you have to play like a little more cautious, cause you can't just run on the ground and try to zoom in and two-shot everybody, it just doesn't work like that. And see, even times like this, I just choke, like, sometimes I just choke and I just can't shoot him. I don't know why. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm just bad. And to be fair, I couldn't really see that guy because of the smoke that some guy deployed. But, um, oh yeah, another thing about this game, the wall running. Like, as you can see, I'm doing there. Like, the wall running adds so much, like, it just adds so much fun to the game like you can just jump and run off everything and it's just so it's like so much fun even if I just like ran around just jumping off of everything now uh, another thing about this game the Titans in here a lot of people were thinking like I've already said that the Titans are gonna be overpowered and they're not and to be honest, when I'm playing and I'm on a kill streak, like I was at the very beginning of this, and I get, if I get a Titan, I'm not really going to use it. Because I, like, I don't know, I just like being in my pilot mode more than I like being in the Titan. I just, I just feel like I'm, I have more freedom and I don't get destroyed as quickly because like, whenever I'm in a Titan, I, found, I find that everything is just getting shot at me. Like, Everybody's focus is just on me, and there's just rockets everywhere, but oh, dude, I can't remember if I picked this guy off or not. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, I started sniping in this game, and this guy saw me sniping, and he, I think I pissed him off a little bit at the beginning, and he started sniping too, but I think he kills, I think I get a revenge kill here, I'm not really sure. Oh, yep, there he is. Yeah, fuck that kid. Um, so yeah, the sniping gameplay, like, the snipers in this game are not powerful. Like, there's, um, I think there's two more in the, at least the beta version of this, that are fairly powerful, which is called the, um, uh, I don't know what it's called. I saw it in another guy's video, it was like, the Kramer or something like that, I can't quite remember. And then there's also a more powerful version of the sniper that I'm using right now called an amped DMR. Now, this is this is kind of interesting. Like the way they did this, um, they have these we weapons that are called amped weapons, and you get them through these things called burn cards. And Five what burn cards are are these things that you earn every like every time you gain experience or every time after a game, We're you can Charlie. earn a few burn cards. And We're what these burn cards are are like little perks, little extra things that they give you for Take one life in one game. Now, once you use the burn card, of course you can't use it again, hence the expression burn card, because you use it and it burns away. And some of the burn cards that you can get happen to be these amped weapons, and what those are are just like, pretty much, it's the same weapon, but it has like extra attachments, or it has um, enhanced damage, like, the longbow DMR, the amp longbow DMR at least, has like this kind of thermal view on it. Like when you scope in, it'll have like a thermal view on it. I wish I use. I don't use it in this gameplay. I don't understand how that kick did. That kick didn't hit, but whatever. But I don't use the amp DMR in this gameplay. If you guys want to see some of that, maybe I can just try to get a kill streak with it sometime it. in the this future. Secure, but, I'm but um, don't let them yeah, it. I'm not really sure if it has enhanced damage because when I have used it, it's still a two-shot kill to mostly everything. 
except for the grunts because those things are just little shits. And then, um, it's over, guys. We damn lost. it, we did lose. Fall back to base. But, um, Forget it, pilot. It's time to get out of here. Check your HUD and get to the nearest back guy? point. Move. Yeah, I was chasing a guy down there. I don't know where he went. I don't know what I was doing. But I think right now I'm around, like my KD is around 19 and 5. And what's what's kind of stupid about this game, like after every objective is completed, as you can see, the other team got 400 points, and ours is at 337, so they clearly beat us. But there's also an epilogue to every single game mode, and it's always the same epilogue. There's always like some place you have to evacuate to, and you have to get in the chopper. And I didn't, I didn't realize that in this gameplay. I completely forgot about the chopper, so I just kind of get screwed over and I get left behind. But I really wanted the 20 kills in this gameplay, so I was just like going around looking for somebody, and I didn't get it. But oh wait, I think I do get it right here. Yeah, I get this last kill. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Like and comment if you want to see more Titanfall beta gameplay. And I'll see you guys sometime later.